701. Like to uh, review the minutes from uh, November 12th. Motion approved, Mr. Chairman. Second. All in favor? Yes. Um, so there's 18 warrants here. Bob did come by and take a look at all of them. Thank you very much. Uh, presented for signature, the total is $1,977,681.85. Um, welcome to look through and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the general fund and school choice reports were previously sent out through email through November 30th. Again, if you have questions, please let me know. There's no additional concerns to report since our last meeting, and accounts will continue to be monitored and adjusted as discussed at the last meeting. Uh, the only thing to note um, is that there have been some needs within the gym that we've gone ahead and funded through the maintenance lines that we might need to look at down the road, funding from another source, whether that's in the or, or elsewhere. Um, the curtain needed to be replaced, and then we have some seats that needed to be taken care of before basketball season. So we might have to put those two pieces. Um, and then the FY21 budget planning is underway as promised and discussed at the last meeting. I have met with George and the rest of the team to start to talk about needs and wants and wish lists, and so we're working on those spreadsheets actively with the intention of keeping on track as we mapped out. Or Bob, did you find any surprises in the warrants? I only found two little things that aren't really worth mentioning. I've never stopped you before. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate him stopping now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to give a more careful perusal? Sure, tell us what those two little things were, Bob. You know you're itching to tell us. No, I'm not. I just passed it back to the business manager. Okay. One has been addressed, the other is not okay. really a necessity to okay. discuss it. Okay. Thank you, Shelley. Mm -hmm. Any uh, public comment tonight? Public that wants to say something? Allison, you want to say anything? No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I figure if I didn't ask. Uh, student uh, advisory uh, report. Council. Right, so the student council is working on selling candy grams, which are going to start next week as a general fundraiser and lifter of spirits. <laughs> and then there's also a canned food drive happening right now that ends Monday the 16th. That's just to benefit those in need during the holiday season. And then for the interact club, we've been working with the Rotary Club to do the festival of the trees at Wilson's. And then we're also serving a community meal next Wednesday at Greenfield Congregational Church um, to help them with their funds. Cool. Nice. Where's the food go that you're collecting? Where do you there, bring it? There's like pet food that's going to uh, student run. Like she's a part of Heroes, Horses, and Hounds that we've benefited before. And then we're trying to figure out exactly the best place for the people food because oftentimes around the season a lot of people do such fundraisers, so we want to make sure that it goes to a place where it would be really beneficial. Super. Thank you. Uh, unfinished business uh, capital plan update. Sure. Um, last night we met the capital planning subcommittee met, um, and currently we have an RFI, which is similar to an RQ posted through uh, FERCOG to start looking at the track, so looking for designers to look at the track and start moving forward on that with a timeline to address it, um, possibly this summer. Uh, we are also um, are looking at uh, another agenda day for early second week in January to start looking at the current needs. Uh, what we have to look at um, the smaller items, because remember we put all the big items onto that loan, um, which will you know, kind of we'll address those over the next three years. 
Um, but the other smaller issues uh, that are under, you know, from 10, 20, 30 thousand dollar items, um, we're going to be going through at the January, early January meeting to look at if there's going to be anything being put on through warrants on the towns that's coming here. Um, because we have an, a, a large list of smaller items that aren't in the hundreds of thousands that we need to address um, as part of that grand plan that we presented before. And then also looking at whether or not we want to use E&D to also offset and do some of those other issues. But, so it's kind of a, a three-tier approach. We have the, the big loan. We have, well, four-tier, I would say. The big loan, what's in our regular maintenance budget, um, E&D spending, and then we're going to go for separate warrants to town that are smaller amounts. So that's kind of where we're at. Well, also have the ability to take it out of the uh, choice money. Correct. Well, he's talking about your job. You're on that committee, so you will help us divide, divide decide how we go on that. But okay, you were saying about it last night after the meeting. I said, no, we got the school choice money that's available, and uh, a little bit more than what we anticipated. So maybe we we'll start to figure out so much of it. Just we'll start doing that stuff so it doesn't lay them out. We certainly don't want to play about. That's yeah. right. it's, up to, it's up to you. <laughs> it's not absolutely. Yeah, it's up to uh, you guys. We work you know. with you to decide what is best for the financial stability well, a, of this that's district. That's consensus, but I'll pay you your decision. All right. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Next is hiring of the new treasurer. Very excited to uh, present our uh, final candidate. As discussed, um, you all voted to have Darius and I move forward with um, hiring a candidate conditionally that you all would make the final vote and approval here. Um, we are very fortunate to have um, had Karen Guy run into Paula Light, who is the current treasurer at the bank, um, and they had a side conversation, and we discovered that um, Karen could be a really good match for this position. So. Uh, her and I had a conversation, had, did an interview, she sent me her paperwork, uh, her resume and her cover letter was attached for you to review. Um, some of you might recognize her, she is a local. Um, her husband actually works here as well and she was an IA for Frontier at um, some point too and is currently the front of house manager at Bridgeside Grill. So she may be a very familiar face to some of you if you frequented that restaurant in Sunderland. Um, so Karen has an MBA. Uh, she has some experience in accounting and finance at uh, Bridgeside where she does some of the accounts payable and other bookkeeping duties there. Um, has been looking to get more into a business role since receiving her MBA and this part-time position was a perfect match for her schedule and work-life balance. Um, so I'm excited to recommend Karen to you all. Um, she's available to take any questions you might have. I'm happy to answer other questions. Um, but she did start working with Paul on some training this week, and my understanding is it's going very well. Paul is also very excited about this. Yeah, so it's going to be an hourly position, um, and the recommendation is $20 an hour for 8 to 10 hours a week. So moved. Second. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, the candidate's here. We spent all the trouble to come here. Yeah. We don't ask her question. one question. <laughs> all, all she could just mail it in. I, I can just tell you that we went to the bridge site, 20 of us, for a banquet, and she made sure that we were all seated and properly served, et cetera, et cetera. She did an excellent job. And I happen to know our boss, and uh, he would put up with her. She didn't. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Sounds like a highly relevant anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me. I don't know. Twenty dollars an hour. So I'm going to ask the question. So why do you want to have this position? Sorry, you work with all of us in this group. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my friends always joke around with me saying that I have a math brain. Uh, I really like numbers, and I like insight, I like data entry, which is really uncommon. Uh, and I went for my MBA to get a job in finance or accounting, and right now with my schedule, something along these lines works out perfectly for me, and I'm really excited to 
get started. Because you did come all the way out this way, and <laughs> if you left without getting to speak, then you would have felt like you missed an opportunity to say hello. Well, I noticed as soon as she came in, there was like three or four people that started talking to her, so they must know her, so. Not anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Any other questions? All in favor for our new treasurer? Thank you. Thank you. You'll have fun. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it is budget season. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Take care. You as well. Gary, you want to talk about the collaborative and bringing in two new schools to the collaborative? Sure, sure. Um, I probably have to sign something. You, well, we'll vote for you to sign. So basically, the collaborative um, is changing its charter by allowing in um, two new schools, <laughs> Gateway Regional and Worthington. Um, and I can't imagine a Gateway was not a part of them. It was. Time it, was. Okay. It, it Worthington used to be part of Gateway, I know, because I grew up in Worthington and went to Gateway. Um, <laughs> you know. But no longer. So, <laughs> so we know each other. Um, so, so they want to let them in, and it takes a vote of the membership. They also want to raise the rates of the um, non-members from 20% to 25% um, to attend events and um, the offerings they have. That doesn't really affect the majority of the members. If you look at the membership, in the, it's everybody in Franklin County and every major public school is part of it, so um, that's not really an effect. And then there's some small worries around um, the governor, the commissioner can send an appointment of liaison to come to the board. Um, it's a small change in language, but um, well, that's part of the state statute. It's part of the state statute. So again, one of those things that not bad. So very simple. You know, do we let World Gateway alma mater back into the collaborative? You could say no and send a message. You got me from there. We, we, but, should, we should say yes. But okay. we should say that they should pony up the dues they say though. You can, you can go and say that the next thing. If but, you approve, uh, by the sign. But I don't think paper. we charged Amherst because <coughs> Amherst wasn't active for a long time. Mm -hmm. All right. So you need to vote to Shall help vote. sign that paper. Sign. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor? Please help them out. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll take that back. So that is the collaborative. It's simple, straightforward. We may have record time tonight. I don't have anything. Anybody on the committee have anything? Collaborative? Mr. George, sir? So I sent out the agenda electronically this afternoon. Did everybody, did most folks get it? Yeah. Yes. I have some hard copies here. Does anybody want some hard copies? Right. I need one for my, the, I have the official file for okay. the meeting, so I got to right. yeah. We still do that in paper. We print That's everything out, we have one okay. paper file here. So I can go over it briefly. Um, once again, we just had our, our annual school play, the production of Harvey, um, this past weekend. Uh, the, the kids and um, uh, Dave Peck, the director, did a wonderful job. Um, and they're gearing up now. They're just, well, they just started uh, working on the spring production. They're going to do the musical Annie. They just did, um, auditions yesterday and callbacks were today. Um, so uh, we're moving forward with that. Um, uh, Yankee Candle, the, the gift ceremony presentation is going to be happening uh, next Monday. Uh, in addition to the uh, usual scholarship, they're going to be giving us an additional $4,000, um, which uh, we're in discussion right now to decide how we'd like to, to spend it for the school. Um, we're leaning uh, we're looking either at a water filtration system for uh, one of our floors, or we actually may put it towards uh, building a concession stand out by the um, out by the field. So it's twenty-four thousand instead of twenty. Well, twenty thousand dollars is the scholarship. The Four thousand dollars is basically for us to use in any way. We, and we could probably put their name if they on a concession stand out there. And potentially. So, so um, I and so uh, that's we're we're leading towards that way. But, so, um, but the okay. money, but they did ask us to tell them what we were spending on. So Correct. That's why so, there is a lot right. of pressure on, on the principals to right. decide. Right. So we're going to be, uh, so I'll be speaking to that uh, at the gift ceremony. So, um, 
And, all, and so speaking of collaborative, uh, we are working with them right now. Uh, we're basically having them do, uh, they're doing, a, they're basically gonna be coming in and doing a review of our reading program with our special ed students. Uh, and they're gonna be meeting with our faculty and they're gonna be meeting with administration and uh, we're gonna be assessing our reading program and they're gonna give us feedback um, and they're gonna be including recommendations moving forward. So uh, that's gonna be starting in the next couple of weeks also. Uh, we're gonna have our alumni coffee, ha coffee hour the class of 2019 that's going to be happening on December 20th. Uh, so graduates from last year will be coming back. Uh, they'll be, uh, they'll be uh, able to check in with their former teachers and they're going to do a postgraduate discussion with our current students, with the current seniors. Uh, and finally, uh, last but not least, we're working uh, right now. We just actually, I shouldn't say we, I should say Allison and a couple other folks are working to write a grant. Uh, we're applying for a $30,000 grant uh, for our social studies teachers. Uh, do you want to speak to anything of it, Allison? So the um, state passed legislation that students need to have the opportunity to engage in an eighth grade and a high school civic, civic engagement project, they have given us um, guidelines of how to uh, implement that type, this type of program and all students need to be available in the state. Part of the legislation was the state is making money available for either professional development or developing projects or um, student engagement through field trips and, and activities. And we're applying with other school districts, but Frontier's gonna be the lead district um, to provide teacher professional development for teachers at schools that work with the Bridges program. So it not only is teachers doing a professional development program on creating the environment and the curriculum that's needed to teach, young people how to come up with these um, civic action projects, but also we will work with student teachers, we will work with UMass, and it's um, actually going to be quite exciting because we, we think it's going to be like 20 teachers that can do some very um, high quality professional development. Yeah, so thank you for working on that. Yeah. 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 We're doing that a lot. I'm going to answer your question before you do it. Let's see if I got it. The, the school committee is actually going to have to vote to accept the donation from me. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't, but I was, <laughs> that's what oh, I was going to say. Eventually, it will be on the January agenda to accept the donation um, from, because a donation of that size, our policy does say that the school committee has to accept it. Uh, but I thought that was what you were going to say. Oh. Oh, my, my question actually <laughs> dealt with the sanitary facilities. Whether there was water out there for a kitchen at uh, where you want to put your stand. Currently, there's no water. Okay. Currently, there's electricity, but there's no water. So you're, you're going to have to get that. There's no waste. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, there's no waste. We, we can get the water coming in. We can't get the water going out. Oh. Okay. There you go. <laughs> but you might be able to put a great water system in too. Well, what I'm just trying to say is we need to look at those costs because you know somebody comes from the Board of Health and says you have to have a, a wash station there or anything else. I don't know what the answers are. But I just want to think about it ahead of time. Right. It's a good idea. Yeah. But what they did years ago, I'm talking years ago, mm -hmm. is in the, the old senior high, they took some windows out and they cooked in one of those uh, rooms on the north side, on the west side of the building. Oh, they carried it out. And they cooked it and they sold it right out the window. Yeah. Billy remembers it. Yeah. So that, that went on for years. You can't do it anymore? But we can't go over a room to cook. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a home room. It was a home ec room, man. You cooked in a home ec room and you served it out the window. And there you go. Just, just as regards to uh, Allison's grant uh, yes. thing, uh, who, whoever, I just like would like to congratulate whoever came up with the idea of multiple districts uh, uh, applying in the same grant because uh, all throughout the state, grant process is with every department. If you're able to do that, you, you jump way up on the list of competitive grants, so that's that's that came that out of the vast different conversation and it extended out, out from that. And so connected me with somebody in Amherst and then UMass and good. You also good. made a presentation well. at a collaborative meeting, didn't you? Yes, I did. I did make a presentation yes. before at a collaborative meeting, and I wasn't sleeping that night. No, we weren't. <laughs> so that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Hey, thanks, George. You're welcome. Gary's the church turn. <laughs> um, you lost it. <laughs>
if you do take a quick nap, you can go through this part. Uh, so, I got a report this morning, so I could. At the January meeting, I'm going to uh, present to all of you this year's uh, Superintendent Award winner, which will be Gabriel Jones Thompson from Sunderland. Um, I awarded him the, uh, I saw in the paper, I awarded him the Superintendent's Award last Thursday at the uh, Franklin County Awards Banquet. In January. Um, just the things that I'm working on is a list of what I just have going out there. Um, in a the sense, I'm still working on the Union 38 um, negotiations. The budget process has started, and um, I do need to say that Shelly has been has to have a very thorough start. In the sense of just the, the, the budget creation is nothing I've seen in the 12 years I've been here. In the sense of the level of organization, what she's asking for the principals, and just being really organized up front. So I know it's going to all pay um, I haven't started the working on the agreement, uh, 38 agreement development yet, sidetrack with the other things. We talked about the capital projects, um, which I'm really excited about. We are starting to move forward on that, and that committee is, I think, is getting traction again um, to get things done. And so, traction, I get it. Oh, time to do it. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, the capital project for all the elementary schools is going out. We are working on the PD, PD release schedule, um, PD and early release. Um, schedule and how we plan on doing that for next year, and I'm still involved with the new superintendent, Dr. Parker. So it's just kind of a list of things I'm doing outside of the everyday superintendent task. So. Anybody have any questions for Darius? Okay, we're uh, we're going to be going to executive session. We need to. Okay, so no, no, so I don't think we need to unless we want to. I put on the agenda because not knowing what the climate of the yep. greater thing is going on. So I need a motion to move. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Bye bye. Happy holidays. Yay.